All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back today to another NBA 2K18 My League Rebuilding Challenge, and it's going to be the Accepting Every Trade Plus Rule Change Challenge. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, yesterday's MLB uploads. I did double up with yesterday. I think I uploaded a Fortnite video already, so I appreciate if you go, you guys go show that video some love. So, we're here today with the Accepting Every Trade and Rule Change Challenge, and this challenge sucks. It's terrible. It's not fun. But it's definitely a challenge. So basically, throughout season one, I gotta accept every trade that's offered to me, and uh, that would just be it for the trades. We're just gonna do season one with the trading. But for the off season now, and then the following one, every rule change we have to change. So hopefully, I'm praying it doesn't raise the shot clock because that means every, like the like the league leader in points per game will have like 19 points per game. It's gonna be bad. So. We won't find out how many rule changes till the end of the year. And I was thinking, hey, let's do the the Spurs. Why not? But, ooh, Kawhi's on a very nice contract. But, yeah, we're going to just start simulating, I guess. I'm, I'm I'm fully prepared for Kawhi to be traded to with Aldridge. And if you guys enjoy these challenge rebuilds, just let me know in the comments which ones we could do next. Just drop a like if you guys enjoy it. Uh, and, yeah, so without further ado, I wonder how long it's going to take. In for, and I also turned trade deadline off. Trade frequency is on 100 I did turn teammate chemistry off. Okay, we're starting off 0-3, 1-3, okay. And our first trade is Rudy Gay. We're getting a first round pick, though, for Markeith Morris. Actually, it's not that bad of a trade because Markeith Morris is under team control for next year. And Rudy Gay is a free agent. Not a bad trade to start off. All right, and we're trading Markeith Morris for Jeremy Lin now. Interesting. We are... Are we doing good this year? We're 7-7. Seven and seven. Okay, so pretty much we, we've only traded Rudy Gay as the big one. I have not seen Aldridge or Kawhi. I don't think they have no trade clauses, so that won't be a thing. And, yeah, I guess I'll still see you guys when I have the next trade or the next trade that's offered to us. All right, we're trading Jeremy Lin. So, basically, we traded Rudy Gay for Markeith Morris. Markeith Morris for Jeremy Lin. Now, Jeremy Lin, Patty Mills for Jeff Teague and Justin Patton. Hey, I'll take a young center in Patton. Uh, Jeff Teague, we can always trade in the offseason. Jeff Teague in this offense wouldn't be that bad. So, I did throw up Pau Gasol, uh, Aldridge, and Kawhi on the trade block just to see if we can actually get an offer for them because I don't even know if we will. Uh, team will offer any deal for us. So, yep, that seems like it's the only trade so far was the the Rudy Gay one. Here we're trading Tony Parker and Brandon Paul for Papa John's and Edmund Turner, one of the worst contracts in the NBA. Wonderful. All right, we're trading Pau Gasol and Brian Forbes for Kenneth Farid and Will Barton. Uh, Will Barton is an expiring deal, but I wouldn't say this is a terrible trade either. Getting two pretty good assets for somebody that might even retire by the end of the year. So I'll definitely take that. We are 17 in uh, 13 here. All right, we're trading Will Barton and Evan Turner for Justin Anderson and JJ Redick. Still no trade offers for Aldridge or Kawhi. Uh, like I said, it did turn off trade deadline, so they could still definitely come up. But... I have no offers for them yet. Trading JJ Redick and uh, who's that? Derek White for Mozgov. Wonderful. And Spencer Dinwiddie. I'll take it because Dinwiddie is not a free agent this year. Okay, we have traded literally like Rudy Gay, that whole saga. I'm pretty sure is that is where we're at right now in the Polga Soul saga, which got us Will Barton and then Redick somehow because uh, it was for Reed, and now we have Dinwiddie. I just want to see an offer for Aldridge or Kawhi. All right, we're trading Spencer Dinwiddie and our first-round pick, it looks like, for Kelly Oubre and the Wizards' 2019 top three uh, protected first-round pick. So there goes Dinwiddie, and we pick up Oubre, who I believe is a restricted free agent. Okay, I kind of like this trade. We're trading Justin Anderson and Jeff Teague for Isaiah Thomas. I like that trade. Not bad, not bad. All right, guys, so yeah, no no Kawhi, no Aldridge trade. We go 52-30. and 30. Uh, I might leave, like, uh, I might not disregard the CPU offers next year, and if I do get an Aldridge or Kawhi Leonard, I might do it, because I had them on the trade block and everything. Well, why'd they take Kawhi off? Well, I had Aldridge on it. Uh, we can throw him back. Uh, we can throw Kawhi back on it. So, we were the fourth seed. This, honestly, this team might have gotten better, to be honest with you. Like, we have Murray. No, we have Thomas. Do we still have Barden? Oh, we don't have Barden. Wait, what is our starting lineup looking like? It's... Thomas Green, Leonard, Aldridge, Laverne. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of forwards that we might have to uh, clear that up here in the offseason. So, obviously, in the offseason, I can do whatever I want. And let's see how far we can make it. Are we going to lose in round one to the T-Wolves? We do. We lost in seven. And I'll see you guys in the offseason where we have to do all the rule changes. All right, guys. Here it is. League meetings. No! The one I did not want to 45 seconds, not even 30. Oh, my God. 
This is the worst one. The top nine picks are done through the lottery. Okay, that's approved. Opposing teams want to the bonus after three fouls. Oh my god, the NBA is, is ruined. 29 teams said no, and we have to approve it. Modify the goaltending rule so once the ball touches the rim, any player can legally make a play on the ball. So goaltending is just not a thing. No, not a thing. Oh my god. The NBA is ruined. No restrictions on contracts to older players. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no goaltending. The shot clock's 45 seconds, and you go into the bonus after three fouls. You gotta be kidding me. The NBA is ruined. The NBA is actually ruined. There's gonna be like teams are gonna the highest team like total points per game is gonna be like 75. Oh my god. I don't think we got any picks throughout that uh season. Staff signing, Popovich is under contract. How's our trainer? Tyler Richards, he was pretty good. I won't go after Jimmy Lynch right now. So NBA draft time. Uh I would definitely like to trade out. Definitely want to get some of these rid of some of these contracts, aka Mozgov Farid and Solomon Hill. We can get Frank Mason and Tyson Chandler. That's not bad. We can get a first round pick in Tyler White, and let's do that trade. Now let's trade Fareed. Oh, Uber is under contract this year. Dope. Fareed. We can look. Let's look at uh. Ah, we won't look at Aldridge just yet. Um, can we get a top pick? Like, can I trade? Um, this Wizards pick next year, Fareed. For like six to the Bulls. And I will give you. Um, I'll give you Justin Patton as well. And I will give you a future second. And one future first in 2021. And we have the sixth pick. And I'll see you guys over here with who I drafted. Alright guys. So we picked up. Na oh my god. What are you doing Atlanta? Um, we picked up national champion Mikael Bridges with the sixth pick. Because why not? Uh, he's technically a shooting guard on this. I didn't, is he six? Six in real life? I feel like he's a lot bigger. Uh, not gonna lie. I feel like he's a lot bigger. Laverne declines. Green comes back. But Green, unfortunately, you're gone. Uh, we actually should... With trading Green, we should have enough to go after a center in free agency. DeMarcus Cousins, I'm looking at you. Uh, can we get a first rounder in Tony Bradley? Perfect. Bring a, trading it one Tar Heel away, Danny Green, to get another one, Tony Bradley. Uh, qualifying offers will offer Burdens and Anderson. They can be like the ninth man in the rotation like they can compete for okay we do have enough to go after cousins let's do this come on hopefully we got him kd obviously don't have room chris paul would be a really cool signing oh but we also have isaiah thomas who the Suns want to bring back i mean if i can bring in isaiah and cousins somehow i'll do it okay we got cousins we're gonna renounce the rights on who else uh hillard costello papianis laverne and Anderson? Yes, okay. So, I'm pretty sure we can sign Cousins right here. And then, if I keep offering Thomas his best deal, uh, we, we're going to be able to sign him and Cousins, which is the plan. There we go. And we just got to do this one more time. Yeah, make sure the sun, he doesn't go to the Suns. So, let's just give him that much. Suns aren't going to top that. Yep. And now, I'm pretty sure we can get Isaiah Thomas for, like, say, like, 26 mil. So it's a little bit more than what he obviously deserves in real life, but it's 2K, and we got him. Let's go. Okay. So we also have an $8.7 million mid-level exception. Who could I get with that? Will Barton. Oh, he's not on our... He, we don't have bird rights. Uh, Hazonia, just out of our price range. What position do I need the most? So roster. We have Murray and Thomas, Bridges. We need definitely a backup shooting guard and a backup center. So shooting guard, let's definitely try to get Wayne Ellington and a backup center. Uh, Monroe, we cannot afford. Okafor wants 24 mil, and he's about to get it from the Mavericks. What are you doing, Dallas? Uh, New Orleans would be cool. Alex Lynn. Uh, we can pick up Ed Davis on a two-year deal. Um, but watch Ed Davis actually accept another offer now. Nope. Um, now we, uh, we get Ellington. Do we get Davis? Oh, we're not going to be able to afford Davis, actually. Uh, crap. Um, what about if I give you a player option? There we go. Okay. We should get him if no other team offers him a deal. Come on, Ed. Damn it. He goes to the T-Wolves. Oh, I'm going to need a backup center. All right, FK Udo. I'm about to overpay that hell out of you. There we go. We pick up FK Udo, and I'll see you guys at the start of next year's season. All right, guys. So for training camps, we're going to be sending uh, definitely Bridges to the G League. Uh, we could send Isaiah Thomas. Why did I... I meant to do Murray. I did not mean to do Isaiah Thomas. Why did I say G League? So I meant on top potential. And we'll send Murray. So, guys, this team is actually, like, amazing. Like, low-key, with Bridges and being a really good defender, uh, you can help out Isaiah Thomas. Um, 
We got Thomas Bridges, Leonard Aldridge Cousins. That's kind of filthy. It sucks that our highest score will average like 14 points a game because the C the it's ruined because the shot clock's at 45 seconds. There's no goaltending anymore. Like what? And uh, people are in the bonus after three fouls. Like okay. Um. All right. So let's give Bridges 30. Let's give Thomas 33. Um, let's give 35 to Aldridge. All right, that's going to be for me now. I will see you guys at the end of the season. Um, and, yeah, so I'll see you guys there. And hopefully we are a one seed. I think we can be in the Western Conference. MVP averages 11 points per game. I told you. I told you. This is what sucks about this challenge. It's so bad. Like, look, you know when I knew it was going to be bad? Look at our first game. 62 to 56. We scored 37 points. There might be a quarter this year. Where we scored like zero points. We scored five points in this quarter. I want to see. Um, we scored 34 points in this game. We scored four points in the first quarter in this game. Oh my god. What was like the lowest we scored or some team has seen all year? I haven't seen any 20s. I've seen 33 is the lowest. Um, okay, I haven't seen anything lower than 33. I haven't seen a 30 in a minute. Here's a 34. We scored two points in the first quarter. Really? Oh my god. This challenge is it sucks. Um player stats. Yep, here they are. It's it's whack. Uh points per game. We were fourth highest in 56, and we were fourth best in 52. The Knicks allowed 47 points a game. Bonzi Colson, former Notre Dame fighting Irish. They got a uh Crimson Tide, a Wolverine, a fighting Irish, a Latvian Beast, and a Kentucky Wildcat, yeah. Uh, and I think Beasley went to... Where did Michael Beasley go to college? Did he go to Memphis? No. Kansas? No. Where did Michael Beasley go to college? Kansas State! Ah! I was close with the Kansas. I was close. All right. So we're taking on the Nuggets here in round one. Uh, I don't know how this series is going to go. Game one, we won 53-58. Or that was game two. Game one, we won 69-62. to Cousins actually dropped 23. Okay. All right. We're up 3 We won this one 64-51. And a nice sweep. So we're taking on the Warriors here in round two. We pick up the win in game one. Let's go. We went, We dropped 78 points. That's like a lot. Game two, we win. Let's go. We held on the seven points in the fourth quarter. 3-0. Oh, it's over. Oh, my God. We're undefeated in the playoffs. Taking on Minnesota, who beat us last year. Uh, do not want to play. Game one, we win. We're 9-0. Game two. We lost. There's our first loss. Oh my god, we got blown out. 70 to 46. Game three. We lost. 2-2. Two, two. No, we're down 3-2. We cannot lose this. We cannot lose. No. No! Stop it. Like the quarter length is still 12 minutes. It's just like people take forever to shoot the ball because the shot clock is so late. Okay, guys, we're down by six with three minutes to go. I'm gonna try to win it. I don't know. Alright, um, the odds of me actually doing this, oh my god, it's a 45 second shot clock. This is so bad. This is terrible. This is terrible. If Wiggins says this, it's over. Okay. Uh, we are on Hall of Fame. Uh, like, we need threes. <sighs> Uber's got a C3, okay. I don't know who that, is that Ed Davis? I don't know who that is guarding Cousins, but Cousins, you should be able to bully him. Cousins gets blocked. What do you, what was that? Really? What was that shot, Cousins? Oh my god. If he hits that, it's over. Oh my god, Cousins. What was that? <laughs> that was terrible. Alright, Ubre to the rack. Yep. Yeah, so that happened. <laughs> the, the, the shot clock thing is insane. Alright, we got one more offseason. Probably gonna trade Isaiah Thomas. Try to upgrade maybe a point guard. Um, We gotta do some more lead changes. Or role changes. So this is about to be... Very interesting. And, all right, we're in an expansion team. I, I kind of like that one, not going to lie. Offense and defensive keys will be changing from three to five seconds. Oh, my God. Okay. Shot clock resets the partial duration when, posi when possession remains with the same team. Oh, my God. I, I don't know if I'm getting this right, but I think that means if, like, wait, resets the partial. I think that's like if it's a loose ball or like a, yeah, like a loose ball or a jump ball in the possession arrow or whatever. I think that means like the shot clock's going to reset, which may make the scoring go down even more. 11 points from each conference within an also game. Sure, that's not that bad. Change the number of fouls required before a player fouls out seven. I like that one, actually. All right, so we got a new expansion team in the league. Okay, I I'm excited about this expansion team. Um, they should be picking high in the lottery, right? Uh, Where are they? 
There's 31 teams. Well, what's the expansion team? The Surf. They're picking number 10. Nice. Uh, can I look at their roster? Well, they probably don't have any. Actually, no. They should have went through the uh, um, the draft. Okay, Surf is not here yet. Maybe they just don't have a team yet. Oh, wait. There they are. Yeah, they have nobody yet. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Here's the expansion. Draft. No, we have to protect our... Oh, we're going to lose somebody too. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so let's go to protect uh, expansion, protect players. Um, all right, so yeah, we, we're just gonna protect these guys. That's cool with me. Expansion draft. Oh wow, Malik Beasley, Batum. Okay, they have a pretty good team, like of young guys, a couple Duke players like Trayvon Duvall and Gary Trent. Do we even have a draft pick? We have twenty four and twenty six. All right, we get Peyton Pritchard as our twenty fourth pick. So we're gonna bring back Murray Wyden and Tony Bradley. Sure. Uh, Kyrie Butler, word. Uber, we got to bring back. And I want to try to trade Isaiah Thomas. So what can we get for Thomas? Nuggets pick in the Jazz pick. Uh, just trying to upgrade a point guard. Just a better defensive point guard. Like Mike Conley would be really cool. There he is. Ooh, and we would get a nice pick. Rudy Gobert, Drew Holiday, Paul George. Should I do this and then try to trade Mikel Bridges? Nah, nah, nah. Uh, cause then it, we're going to be playing so many people out of position. Let's just get Mike Conley and we're going to get a nice first round pick from, what is that? Miami. So what could I get for Wade Ellington and that heat pick? Um, Wade Ellington, of course, trading is broken. They still haven't fixed this glitch. Still haven't fixed this glitch. Just shows they don't give a F about my league this year. They don't. Um, all right. Uh, Malik Monk, who's my Karis LeVert's cool. Buddy Healed. You know, let's get Buddy Healed. He'll probably start over Bridges. Uh, so we get Buddy Healed and Pascal Siakam, which is not bad at all. Uh, I think that'll be it for me for trading people now. So, free agency. We just got to bring back Ubright. Well, Bahana's here. Obviously, we don't have enough. Uh, Ubright, let's just give him 15 mil share. And we bring him back. Cool. And Siakam will just replace Udo. So I think we're actually good with who we, uh, with like nine people. And I'll see you guys at the start of next year's season. All right, guys. So we're going to be sending Murray, Heald, and I think Bridges, the G Uh, I keep saying G Lee, on tap potential. I think Heald is going to be starting over Bridges. Even though we really don't need offense because we have Aldridge, Cousins, Conley, and Kawhi, who are all capable of creating their own shot. Uh, so Heald really doesn't, I guess Heald's going to run more off ball. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's give Siakam 12 minutes. Uh, Murray, 25. Bridges, 21. Ubre 15. Um, 33 to Aldridge, 35, 34. Um, 33 there. Let's go 30 there. And then let's give one more to Bridges and one more to Ubre. All right, that's going to be for now. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully this team can actually win a championship this year. We'll see. All right, guys, you can see we just beat the Surf 59-57. I guess this was just like, uh... 2K just randomly threw them in. I don't know where they come from. The surf. San Diego surf. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know if San Diego would be one of the uh, premier destinations for a new basketball team over like Seattle or Louisville or Pittsburgh. But San Diego would be pretty cool. Uh, it'd be their, actually, that'd be their only sport team. No, no, they have the Padres because they don't have the Chargers anymore. They're in LA. Uh, and I believe there's no hockey team. I think the only hockey LA uh, California teams are the Kings and the Sharks. And there's probably... There's probably another one up, there, but I'm not just thinking, of, oh, it's going to kill me. There's no San Diego hockey team. There's no San Francisco hockey team. There's no Golden State. There's no Oakland hockey team. Is there another LA team? I don't believe so. Is there a Sacramento team? It's going to piss me off. Ah, Anaheim. There's an Anaheim hockey team, the Anaheim Ducks. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, we actually get Coach of the Year. We go 66 and 16, which is nice. Thank you, Greg Popovich. Shout out to you. Uh, if we go to team stats, we average 58 points a game, which was second in the league, and we allowed the third fewest points per game, and we had the best point differential. Here are the player stats. Just nothing exciting because of the shot clock changing. Okay. Can we please make it to the finals this time? Uh, wow, the surfer here in the playoffs? Oh, they got Bull Bull in the draft at the number 10 pick. They also have Mike, uh, Malik Beasley, former Florida State Seminole. Yep. Uh, Cody Zeller went to Indiana. Uh, Derek Rose went to Memphis. Uh, OG went to Indiana. Uh, Batum went to... Where did Nicholas Batum go to college? Is it? I think it's just like France. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where he went to college. Tyler Johnson, I have no idea where he went. Fresno State. Mike Scott went to Virginia. Richard Vaughn went to UNLV. 
and Gary Trent Jr. is obviously um, Duke and St. Aries Stormwell in South Carolina. Uh, so we should be able to beat them. And they won game one. They're up 2-1. You're kidding me, right? You're you're actually, you're just messing with me, 2K. You're just messing with me. If if they beat us, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so angry if we don't come back 3-1 on them. All right, there we go. <laughs> our, our game high scores eight points. I hate this. Um, please just win game seven at home. There we go. Thank you. We come back three one. Okay. I was gonna be pissed if we didn't come back three one on them. Okay, take it on the Warriors. We win game one. Okay, we were having an easier time against the Warriors than we do against an expansion team. Wonderful. Uh, can we just beat them? Oh my God. Thank you. Okay, take it on the Bucks in the finals. Giannis versus us. It's one one. Two one us. 2-2. Two, 3-2 two. Two us. Come on. Can we put it away here? Uh, or are we going to a game 7? Nope. We get blown out. Uh, terrible. We scored 2 points in the 4th quarter. That's just a recipe for success. Alright. Game 7 in San Antonio. Um, basically, if you have like an 8 point lead with like 8 minutes left, you win. Because you can just dribble out the clock. Um, okay. We. It looks like we're going to be winning. I will see you guys in the game and we are up by nine with just under two minutes left in game seven. All right, guys. So here in the game, uh, Conley's in. Let's just put the starters in. Uh, oh, no, no. I thought Kawhi was square, but he's triangle because he's in a power forward right now. Well, Barton, former spur. Imagine I blow this. Look at the shot clock. 45 seconds. What was the other one? Oh, it was like the possession arrow. So now, like, goaltending is not a thing. So, like, you can just, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm blowing it. Nah, I'm just doing this on purpose. You know, I'm trying to make it interesting. Yep, I'm trying to make it interesting. <laughs> uh, okay. Kawhi, I need you, I need you. No, 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 no. That was really dumb. Oh, T perfect. And one. And one Kawhi Leonard. He ain't going nowhere, baby. Uh, in regards to the rumors in real life where he might be traded, which I think has a 0% chance of happening. Well, I would say zero, but I would say there's a really slim chance of him getting traded. Um... Okay, Giannis here in the post. He's probably going to hit that. Oh, no. Rare miss from Giannis. Kawhi, we're on the break. Cousins for three. Who's guarding him? Who said it? What? Who is that? Is that Mo Wagner? No. Cousins in the post. Easy fadeaway. And he misses. Wonderful. Aldridge has a nice three points. Conley is 17, which is actually impressive. No threes. Ah, I'm going to let Bledsoe in a three. It's a five-point game. I'm just really just asking them to come back. Kick it to Cousins. All ready for this. Y'all ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. Dang. DeMarcus Cousins. And that should be it. We're up by seven. All right, guys. Up by seven with 36 seconds to go. And the shot clock is turned off. Unbelievable. I would die if this, if this was like today's NBA. It would be ruined. It would be ruined. Oh, they're going to play the fouling game on me. I really hope not. Uh, Giannis will make that one. Um, if they do play the fouling game, that'll probably just be it. And I will see you guys with who won finals MVP. I'm going to guess it's going to be DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, but it definitely could be Kawhi. Um, yeah, they are playing the fouling game, it looks like. All right, guys. So, Kawhi Leonard, your finals MVP with nine points per game. This would be the death of the NBA if this happened in real life. So, that's going to be for me. Thank you for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, just drop a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what challenge we can do next. Hope you guys enjoyed today's double upload. Go watch the Fortnite video if you didn't already. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.